there are two ways to make money with Elementor if you're a freelance designer or if you're a design agency. So the first way is to design websites for small businesses or for individuals for a price. The second way, which is what I'm going to be talking about in today's video, is to sell template kits. So these are websites you design, package it, and then sell it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to package your website, set up a landing page, create a checkout page, and then sell your template kits to make extra income. Let's dive in and let me show you how to use Elementor Pro to achieve this. All right, so here I'm in my uh, WordPress admin dashboard. So what I'm going to do is to first of all show you the website. So let's say this is the website that you've designed. So it has all these pages here. So if I go to my logo here, this takes me to my main page and I have all these different uh, pages. So this is a complete website. So when you sell it, the person that purchases this website, all they have to do is to go in and change these images, change the text, and pretty much they can add their own information on the website. So here's the thing. If you want to uh, package this into something that you can sell, here's how you do it. Okay, so what you wanna do is to head over here to Elemento, just hover over here, and then you wanna come all the way down here to Tools. So click on that. And on the last tab, which says import and export kits, you want to click on that. And you have two options here. This one here is to export a template kit. And this one here is to import a template kit. So what we're going to do now is to export. So we're going to click here on start export. So we're going to get these options here. So it's asking us uh, the templates, the content itself, and the uh, site settings. So I'm pretty much uh, happy with that. Now here is the kit information. So what you could do here is to uh, uh, give this a name. So I'm just gonna call this a Mac um, Elemental Kit. Now over here, you can give it a description if you want to. So I'm not gonna waste too much time uh, typing things out here. I'm just gonna paste uh, the same thing here like that. And then on the bottom here, I'm going to click next. But before I do that, take a look here. We have global colors, global fonts, theme styles, so it exports everything. So this is really, really cool. I'm gonna come over here and click on next. And now it's uh, asking me plugin name and uh, it's got Elementor checked and this also works with Elementor Pro. So the next step now is to create the kit. So it's now packaging my whole kit on my uh, site and you can see here it says, uh, your export is ready. So to uh, download, I can just download by clicking here because I think there was a pop-up. I didn't see downloading. But anyway, you click here to download and then close. So now that we've uh, downloaded our kit, let's just uh, double check and make sure that we have it in our downloads folder. So I'm gonna come over here to downloads and here it is, Elemental Kit. So it is ready. I'm just gonna drag this over now to my other screen. So what I'm going to do now is to create a landing page for our kit. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. So let's give this page a name and then click on publish. And now I'm going to edit this with Elemental. So the first thing we want to do here is to remove uh, this page title. So I'm gonna click on this gear icon and then I'm gonna hide the title. The second thing is I wanna get rid of the headers and the footers on this page. So I'm gonna come over here to page layout click on canvas. Okay, so my header and footer is now gone. The next step now is to start to design my layout. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go with this structure here. Next, I'm going to add an image. So let's drag and drop our image like that. And then I'm going to click in here. So this is where you want to add the image of your template kit. So I'm just going to go with uh, any image here. So uh, let's go with um, let's go with this one here. I'm gonna hit select. In fact, this one here doesn't look great. I want something that is pretty much 1920 by 1080 so that it fits the whole page. So in my library here, I don't see anything very exciting. So I'm gonna go now to pexels.com and look for a royalty-free image. So I wanna look for something to do with business. So we're going to pretend now that our template is a business template. So I'm gonna scroll down here and look for an image that works great. So I'm gonna go with uh, this one here and I'm gonna click on the top and make sure I'm downloading 920 by 1280 or even 1280 by 853, which should work fine as well. So I'm gonna click there to download. And then the next step now is to add this image now onto my site. So I'm gonna click on upload files, select files, and here it is, I'm gonna double click. 
and then I'm gonna click select. All right, so we have our image now in here, which is great. The next step is to add my title. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, drag and drop it. So first of all, let's center it and uh, let's give this a name. So I'm gonna call this Mac template kits. Now we need to add the description text. So I'm gonna drag and drop it just below like that. Come over here to style and center it. And then what I'm going to do is to drag my um, heading above like that. And I'm also going to drag the description above. All right, so that's looking great. The next step now is to add my uh, price for this template kit. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and then I'm going to drag and drop my heading in here and I'm just gonna add the price. So this is going to go for say $97. So I'm gonna center the text like that. Now let me add my call to action button. So, okay, so the next step now is to add my Stripe or PayPal button. So for this, let me use Stripe. So here it is, I'm gonna drag and drop it here on the bottom. So first things first, I'm just gonna call this Mac template kit. I'm gonna give this my price, which is $97. Next, I'm gonna come over here to style, or maybe it's advanced, and then I need to center this like that. Okay, that's great. So now that we have this buy now button, we also need to customize what's going to happen when someone clicks on this buy now button. So I'm gonna click here to open this. So this is where you need to add the page where they can download the product from. So you need to have created this page ahead of time. Now I've done a detailed uh, tutorial on how to uh, sell a product or a digital product using Elementor. I'll link that in the video description below or I'll link it somewhere here in the video. So this is where you need to have created a thank you page which has the upload, okay? So I'm not gonna add my uh, uh, URL yet. So. For now, we've just created our button. So I do also need to say that this button here, which is Stripe, needs to be connected to the Stripe account itself. So you need to also create, say, Stripe account for this to work. All right, so now that I have this design, I'm now going to uh, go back here to my uh, container and just make sure that this is set to VH and I'm gonna set this to 100. And then finally, I just need to center everything like that. All right, so now it's time to publish it. So you remember we downloaded our template kit, so we need to upload it onto our media library. It's very important that we do that. So I'm now going to uh, come over here to my media library, click on uh, library. Now I'm going to click on add new, select files, and here is my template kit. I'm gonna double click on it to upload it onto my media library. So here it is now, it's all uploaded, that is great. All I have to do now is to click on it because I need to copy this URL right here. So I'm gonna click on copy URL. So now it's copied, close here. And then the next step now is to uh, create the download page. So I'm going to come over here to pages. I'm gonna click on add new. So I'm gonna say download kit, edit with Elementor. So like we did before, I want to remove the page title. So I'm gonna come over here and hide. And then I'm gonna come over here to page layout and make sure that Elementor Canvas is selected. So now let's add our text. So I'm gonna click here on Flexbox and choose my layout. So first things first, I'm gonna add my heading. So this is going to be a thank you, like that, center it. We can also add a description to this, drag and drop it. We are also going to come over here to style and center it. And then finally, I'm going to add my button here. So I'm gonna click on add element. So let's drag our button. Here it is, drag and drop it. So on this button here, I'm gonna say download now. Now remember, we copied our link uh, a moment ago. I'm gonna paste my link in here, set my size to medium. And I just need to change a bit of styling here. I can see my button text and my color here doesn't look great. so. I need to go in and adjust the text color. So I'm gonna come over here, choose my text color, and I think that works. And then I just need to center my button like that. Finally, let's head over here to um, our container. Let's come to minimum height, set this to VH, and we're gonna set this to 100. Okay, now I can publish it. Oops, so I need to center this. I'm gonna come back here and center everything. Okay, great. So now that everything is centered, I'm gonna publish it. So now when someone clicks on the download link here, it's going to download the template and you can see now it's being downloaded here. So what I need now is this URL, I'm gonna copy it 
And then we're going to come back to our site here. And remember, we were just about to customize our Buy Now button here. So I'm going to click. And we want to go now to Additional Options. And this is where we need to paste the URL for our Thank You page. So with that all set now, I'm now going to hit Publish. Now, if you want, you can continue designing this and add more features. You can even add a demo link so that you can show the complete website and so on. But I just wanted to show you quickly how you can just create a landing page for your product uh, that you have created using Elementor Pro. So with this now uh, all set, all you have to do is to run traffic onto this landing page. And when people come over here and they click on buy now and they purchase it, they are now going to be taken to uh, the thank you page where they can download the product. Of course, uh, this may not be the best way to do this because people can share the thank you um, uh, page. So the other way to do it is to watch my video I created yesterday where you can create a sales funnel using uh, WP Funnels. Now, that's a better way of doing it because we use WooCommerce for it. So if you're selling more than one template kit, I would highly recommend you do that because that way uh, you can secure your products even better. But if it's just one-off and you're selling it cheap, uh, maybe not really bothered if people share the, uh, the link. It's fine. You can do it this way. So anyway, guys, that is how to uh, make money with Elemental Pro selling template kits. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.